That's right, we're back with another one of Balfang unboxing. This time it is the K6 by Balfang. Let's check it out. Hello there, and thank you for stopping by to watch the video for any vault dwellers or wastelanders alike. Today we have got Another unboxing of a handheld radio, this time another beautiful Balfang. This is going to be the K6 model, which I believe comes with a 2600 milliamp hour battery. Uh, of course, I got it in sleek black. So let's open it up, um, see what this one's like. I have a good idea what I think it's going to look like, but we'll see if I'm right. Let's check it out. All right, we have quite a treasure chest here to go through. So you get quite a bit in the box. So starting out, you get your manual here, which I bet you is in at least decent English. It's uh, looks like about 30 something pages. That's about typical considering Balfangs have a lot of menu options on them. So again, it is the K6 series. I think it's kind of funny. This one does say FCC on it. I don't remember any other ones having that. Over here, you get the little earbud earpiece or over the ear, uh, two pin Kenwood connector. You get an external microphone. That's kind of cool. And it's got that little lapel clip. Also, two pin Kenwood piece. Here's the main interface the radio. And the model number down here, it does say it is the NAK6. Has its FCC ID and IC number and all that good stuff. Balfang Amateur Radio. And here's the battery. It is a model number BCK626. It does say 2600 milliamp hours, 19.24 watt hours total, which is kind of beefy for a battery. So at least just put that on there and let's see if it's one of those just. All right, it's just a simple slide up one. It looks like it has the three pins for charging here, but I did not see unless I missed it, which I did. Shame on me. You get a charging cradle. So it does look like it is, um, at least right now, it is an older school Balfang. It has to sit on its cradle to charge. The three prongs I was pointing at just a minute ago, always a plus. Positive, negative, and temperature control so it doesn't overheat while it's sitting there idle if you are one of those it likes to leave them in you get the also stylus wrist strap remember always keep that with you ladies love them you get your rubber duck antenna which is rated for uh, 136 through 174 so it is two meter. I know it's a dual band uh, radio, but 136, if it does get AM, it should be air band as well. And 400 through 520 megahertz. Also, you get an extended whip. A little semi-flexi type, almost like a Nagoya 771. Uh, but this, of course, does not have a brand marking on it. It's also rated for the same. I just I did check it just previously. Um, so that's kind of cool. You get an extended one in the box as well. I'm, I'm curious once we uh, power test this thing, uh, if it maybe puts out its full five watts or whatever it's rated for. I'm sure it is. I think it is a five watt radio. You get your programming cable. This is pretty common now that you get a lot of these with the handheld transceivers. And then you get that oh so stylish also bill clip. Cool though that it doesn't have little dang screws you actually just slide it in Let's see here come on i know it's still early but should be able to get that to work there we go overall it's a heavier duty or heavy heavier duty plastic there you go um this reminds me a lot of a Quan Shang, which I happen to have right up here. <laughs> Even with the little uh, stylish orange up there on the on the knob and the bumper on the side. Interesting. Flashlights, everything is up here. Same connector as well. 
There's your SMA male there. So the fronts are very similar. That's just uh, that's just some uh, extras there, just in the molding of the plastic. But yeah, very similar. Bet you anything, of course, you dig deep into this. This is this radio. Just got a different brand name on it. But all right. So usually with an unboxing, what we like to do, if you've been here a while, is we'll put on um, the Shurcom uh, analyzer. And we're just going to, with a little dummy load, and we're going to see if it truly shoots out what it is rated to do, which I believe is 5 watts. So we'll get right to that. All right. So we got our Shurcom SW33 Plus Mini Analyzer on here. This is great for your handhelds. I did a review on this as well. You can check that out up in here. Uh, without looking at any manual or whatever, we're going to put it on a simplex, probably the 2 meter and the 70 centimeter national calling frequencies so we can just test out the power output. Channel mode. Okay, great. It's charged. So, frequency mode. Yeah, we aren't going to play with that. So, let's see. One, four, six. Five, two, zero. And I'm going to bet there's probably no tones on since we're on this, but I will Radio. check real quick. This is quite different of a menu. Kind of cool though, especially since it's like this, what is that called? Cyan, cayenne blue back there. That's kind of cool. Definitely already looks like some different menu options that I'm used to. So I'll definitely be playing around with this one. Scan CTCSS. Okay, that's different. Cool. All right. Well, it shouldn't do anything that would affect our uh, power output. So let me go up here. We're also in frequency mode. Yeah, I guess I haven't played around with my Quanshang enough because you could have a VFO and you can have a memory mode on two different lines. Also cool. So. Four, four, six, zero, zero, zero. All right. Both are going to be on high power. I apologize if that light's a little dark back. I mean, bright back there. There you go. They're both on high power. We're already up here, so we're going to go ahead and start with that. So let's turn on our Jercom here. Uh, forward. Dummy loads on correctly. So again, we're just gonna be checking power. So let's see here. High on 70 centimeters. Looks like we're looking at 3.5 watts on high. That's about average for uh, 70 centimeters on a lot of handhelds. Okay, so now we're gonna go down to the two meter and let's test her out. Four point six, four point seven, almost up to five, depending on when, depending on when it wants to spike. So, all right, so it's a five watt on two meters and um, about three, three and a half watts on seventy centimeters. There was your simple unboxing and a power check of the Baofeng K six series here. Um, I did just double check to make sure, and yes, I know it is a dual band transceiver. But it also can scan and receive your FM radio, uh, air band. It'll do VHF, uh, all 2 meter up to 174 megahertz. Uh, it will receive the 1.25 uh, meter, which is 220 through, I think, 260, somewhere in there. And then your uh, lower end of UHF, of 350 to 390, and then also your 70 centimeter up through GMRS, actually, around 400 to 520 megahertz. So... Cool little radio. This one's definitely going out and you can play around with. And uh, I'll be doing a video, a follow-up video on this, on programming it in. And we'll go field test and maybe put in all those different things so we can go check it out. All right, and there you go. So if you found the video helpful, I appreciate it if you share it to someone. Also, don't forget, we do have memberships for the channel. I want to appreciate everyone that's been supporting. And it's been great. Love having you all here. So remember, always be getting ready. We'll see you around next time.